I felt like today would be a good day to do an intro. So guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Laylee. I'm really nice. And if you're not new here, then you know I'm not really nice. Let's get straight into this video because I hate watching videos where people just talk so much and you're like, just show me what you bought, bitch. Today that's what we're gonna do, but first we're gonna start off with a little sponsorship. Thank you to my sponsors for sponsoring this video. Without you guys, I would not be able to continue doing videos like this and spending extortionate amounts of money on things I don't really need but I'm helping the economy. Today's sponsor is Lily Silk. You guys know I've worked with Lily Silk in the past. I do really love their stuff. I've actually stocked up on like pajamas and like little accessories, pillowcases, silk hair ties, because those things are important. If you guys want to find out why I think they're important, watch the video down below. I've done so many videos on Lily Silk and the benefits of silk pillowcases and the hair ties. Oh my God. My new pajama set has come in perfect time. I like starting the new year with new things. It's always nice to treat yourself to a fresh set of bedding, pajamas, boyfriends. Just kidding. This is my new Lily Silk pajama. It is white with pink piping. It's got long pajamas, which are actually the perfect length for me. I love how they have like elastic and it also has like a drawstring so you can actually tighten it or loosen it as you wish is my new pajama set and you guys would have seen i have the navy blue of this the next item that i got from lily silk is actually <laughs> no one wants me to get paid the next item i got from lily silk is this really cute silk blend top you guys know i live in black and white tops it is a silk blend shirt with this really cute, like, I think it's called a pussy bow necktie. Let's just call it a necktie because the word pussy makes me cringe. I love this with like a cute tweed skirt, like a little balming skirt, nice jacket, blazer, jeans. I always emphasize this to you guys. I love spending money and investing in good quality stuff. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to buy designer stuff. Just because it's designer doesn't mean the quality is always going to be great. Let's go back to when I purchased a pair of Gucci leggings, which were just awful. Just awful, but I still have them because I didn't have the heart to give them back. I also got them tailored, tried to make them look better, but they still don't look good. I still don't wear them. Basics are the foundation of your wardrobe. If you don't have good quality basics, you're screwed. Because you're going to have to keep buying them over and over again because the washing machine is going to keep eating them up. It's going to make them bobbly. It's going to make them ugly. They're going to shrink. Good quality stuff lasts. So this is what it looks like on. I fully put on this outfit, looked in the mirror and was like, wow, I could not look more basic if I tried. It's cute. I really like it. I love this shirt. It's nice. It's silky. And feels expensive. Looks expensive. It's versatile it'll go with a lot of things but even if it's just like undone and left open and like worn with like a pair of like tuxedo pants and, like a blazer like something really elegant this could be a really nice kind of shirt to wear okay i'm just like obsessed with this pajama set it's so nice i don't actually want to take it off if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from lily silk make sure you use code fashtv12 which is right here somewhere on the screen and you'll get 12% off your entire order. I love filming videos in like comfy clothes. I live for these silk pajamas because I can just sit here and talk to you guys and just float around my house in pajamas and my favorite slippers, which is actually gonna lead me on to my next purchase, which is probably the last purchase I made. It's not the most recent one, but I feel like it's the most relevant one right now. In retrospect, I wish I did get a different color now because the pair that I did get doesn't really match this pajama set but it's fine i can always go back and get another pair and if you guys are subscribed already to the channel you'll already know what i'm talking about it's a pair of louis vuitton slippers you guys know how much i love mine however although i do love them it's been about a year now and this has happened and although i was skeptical at first because i was like They've got like a fabric sole. I feel like they're just going to disintegrate, just get ruined when I go outside. Because I did, initially I was like, I'm not going to leave the house in them. Then you go to the kitchen, which is kind of filthy sometimes. And then you're like going outside just to the cars. It's not going to be much of a difference. And then I end up wearing them to the airport. Then I end up wearing them on the plane. And then they just end up becoming gross. But they still have remained intact. That is actually shocking. 
don't think you guys realize how shocked I am right now. Like the way I've been wearing these shoes, like initially when I buy something, I'm like super careful and cautious. And then once I see there's like a little scuff or something happens to them, I'm like, that's it, they're done. But yeah, so that was my first pair. Then I decided to pick up another pair for the new year. And this is one of their newer styles, which I actually unboxed already. So I'll just put a snippet of that. So here I am unboxing my new Louis Vuitton slippers. So this is the new style of slipper that Louis Vuitton recently launched. They've released two new styles. They've obviously got the classics, which are the pair that I already have. Then they introduced like a full fluffy pair, of like ones with a back on them. But I do prefer a slip-on pair. So when I found these, I was over the moon because they were mink, they were slip-ons, and they have a leather sole. Like an actual proper leather sole like this how cute these are going to be a lot more i feel like i'm hoping these are going to be a lot more harder to ruin than the current pair that i have but they actually have like their open toe i wish i got the pink ones now but it's fine I think I'll keep one of these pairs in London now and one pair in Dubai because at the moment I travel between both places and I have to carry them in my suitcase and it's just extra like stuff that I don't need to be carrying in my suitcase to be honest. <laughs> if you guys are considering purchasing someone a Christmas present, I think this is a really good secret Santa presents for someone. Like if your budget's like just over a thousand pounds. If someone put these under my tree, I would be so happy. On to the next thing, which is something I'm very excited about. I bought this about two weeks ago, if not, yeah, two weeks ago. And I could not wait to share it with you guys. I posted a snap on my Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it. I posted this right after you guys like do another luxury haul. And I was like, okay. I love doing luxury hauls. And I just love going to Chanel and buying stuff. <laughs> This next item is obviously from Chanel. Basically, about a month ago, I purchased the classic flap in black caviar leather with gold hardware. I'm obsessed with it, I love it. And you guys should already know by now if you're subscribed that I absolutely love caviar leather and I love classic Chanel bags, but I also love little crazy ones. Unfortunately, this season, I wasn't too happy with the crazy ones that they released. I mean, crazy like the tweed and like the other like lambskin ones, like those really big puffy ones that everyone's carrying around with like the mixed hardware i'm not a fan it's not me like though i'm saying this now probably in like a year's time i'll be like actually i really like that bag no i've actually no i don't think so because i've seen it on enough people to decipher whether i really like it or not and i've already made it on mind i definitely do not like it in chanel they don't actually release the newer handbags with gold hardware they're only releasing them with champagne hardware you can only really find the classic flaps with gold hardware and that is coming straight out of sales assistant smell so everyone wants to shoot their shot at me it's not my problem i'm just relaying the information to you guys but yeah as you guys can see i purchased the small chanel bag in caviar this is another small chanel bag and it's Grey Caviar, it's an exclusive grey that they released this collection. Grey is such a neutral, amazing colour. Like when I'm wearing black and white and I don't want to wear a black bag or, you know, a crazy colour bag, just pick up a grey bag and you're still neutral but not so boring. And I'm kind of obsessed with this. Initially, I was like on the fence between the red and this. And then I was like, actually, I already have red lambskin. I want a grey bag and there is not a whole lot of difference between the new caviar and the old caviar the only thing that bugs me is that the gold isn't super gold but saying that it doesn't actually bug me as much as I thought it would because the other day I was wearing my Manolo Blahniks which obviously have silver kind of like crystals on them and then I wanted to wear this bag and I realized that the gold and the silver actually complemented each other really well and it wasn't like an extreme difference and it did look really out of place. Whereas if I wore like my Manolo Blahniks with a gold hardware bag, it would just not look right. I felt like whenever I wore my gold hardware bags, I'd have to wear something which didn't have any hardware or which had a complimentary hardware to it, which is very rare. The champagne hardware is definitely growing on me. I, I definitely do want to... And this gray kind of has like a blue hint to it. It's not like a dull muted gray it's kind of like gray but with like a little blue tinge to it and you guys can see and i realized like a lot of like bloggers and 
YouTubers are actually buying this bag now. Obviously this is completely irrelevant. There's no space up there. Any love letters. But there is a space in the back here. Should I just go through my bag? Yeah. So we have receipts. We have the authenticity card. I have my IDs, my credit cards, which fit perfectly into these little slots right here. There's not a whole lot in this bag because when I carry small bags, which I do now more frequently than before, I don't like carrying too much in them. Obviously, Carmex, love this. Have to have lip balm on you at all times. I have a lipstick on me because yesterday I was wearing lipstick. I have gum. I have my garage fob and car keys there's also a little pocket in front here which is great and there's also a pocket in the back which is my favorite pocket for when i go to starbucks and can't bother to open my bag and just want to shove my things somewhere so yeah this is what the bag looks like this is my new favorite size the small. I want to get these in every color. I really do. I want these in every single color because I absolutely love them. The small and the medium, my absolute favorites. Although I do really love the jumbo. It is so special to me because that was my first ever Chanel bag. It is just not practical for me for when I travel. I just want to take like a few small options like a black, a beige and a gray or a crazy color or like a little and I really do want to get some more extra minis. Um, I think they're really cute, they're really impractical. But the new collection Chanel released, they have a selection of ridiculous little mini bags, which I just cannot wait to buy. So I got this in Dubai, but I just want to say, because I know I usually insert like snippets of where I'm actually buying the bag, like doing a vlog. I kind of realized that like, it's just, I find it a bit cringe going into Chanel and like just kind of embarrassing going to Chanel with like a camera and just like vlogging I'm like oh I'm buying this bag and, like I feel like the shop assistants just don't take you seriously particularly here I feel like they're more used to it in London whereas here they're just very patronizing and it's just kind of rude and it's just like they definitely look down on you if you are seemingly overly excited about a new bag and that's just who I am I'm not the type of person to just casually walk into Chanel and be like I get excited. I love the process of looking at all the bags. I'm that bitch that will make you open that cupboard, go to the bag, and show me your entire stock before I buy a bag. But I saw this actually and I was like, yeah, I want that. <laughs> it depends on the mood I'm in and my current cash flow situation, to be honest. But I don't really like going into stores and vlogging anymore as much as I used to. In fact, I've never enjoyed it. It's just a really annoying process for me. Sorry. So you're just gonna have to enjoy the luxury haul videos and not the vlogs. Anyways, let's move on to my next purchase, which I actually got on my way back from London to Dubai. This is at the airport. This is actually something I own and I'm kind of obsessed with. I walked into Fendi and I initially went in looking at the silver little mini python bag because I love the chain strap, but I realized it wasn't really my style. I don't really like silver, like metallic-y kind of bags. Then I was looking around, browsing around, saw a really great crocodile peekaboo and I was like, hi, but I didn't get that. <laughs> I decided to settle for something I already have because I like options. Color options are great. And obviously the new Fendi bag that I picked up is a beautiful little Python peekaboo in gray. I purchased this before I actually purchased the Chanel bag, but I'm having a grey moment. And this also has gold hardware, it's not champagne hardware. So if ever I feel like wearing black, white, grey, gold, not black, white, grey, champagne, she's here to save the day. And she also comes with a raincoat. I love that for exotics. I wish all my bags, not just the exotics, came with raincoats because when it rains, I don't want my bag to be ruined. I literally will hide. I'll probably not leave the house actually, because what's the point? My shoes get ruined, my bags get ruined. There's literally no point. And obviously um, there is a long strap, so it's adjustable, you can wear it cross body, on your shoulder, in the back of your arm, in your hand. It's just a great size, it's just a great bag. Do you wanna wear this one today? Okay, I love your vine. 
yeah this is my fabulous little fendi bag and that is also the end of my these people don't want me to make money they want me to stay at the house and live off them for the rest of my life fine if that's what you want it's fine with me okay that wasn't actually the end of my luxury haul video i just realized i have this massive box which hopefully contains the contents of my new year's eve outfit i'm so excited i don't really like spending too much on dresses because i feel like it's just a bit of a waste however i felt like this is the beginning of a new decade i have to start it in a positive way and i want to start it in something super fetch so Nest Porter sale is amazing. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, make sure you check out my Instagram stories because I've linked all my favorite items. Mm. So this is my first ever piece from this brand. I've never bought from this brand before, but I have been admiring her stuff for a very long time. I'm annoyed it didn't come in the actual Nest Porter box because obviously it's a sale piece, so this stingy. Here we go. Nest Porter, love you. Your delivery was absolutely exceptional. I ordered this two days ago. New Year's, by the time you're watching this video, is about a few days away, but I still have time right now to get it altered because I know it's gonna be too big. Oh my God, it's even more beautiful than I expected. I was on the fence between two dresses. This particular one which came in black, which is a little bit different to this, and this one. But I realized I wear black all the time. This is a new decade, honey. Let's welcome her with a bit of sparkle. And this is my beautiful new Magda Boutrim, I think I'm saying that right, dress. I'm obsessed. <gasps> Just love these, look how stunning they are. Oh wow! She even added an adjustable strap. Like this is not just how the strap is. You can actually adjust them right inside here. Oh my God, I absolutely love that. It's so beautiful, honestly, it's just stunning. And it's got this really love draping. It's got like a knot here, whereas the black one was like in velvet, so lovely. It's had the same detailing on the corset body the shoulder straps were like this but it had like this big poofy thing at that at the side and i feel like i've already got wide enough hips i don't need to add any more of an extension to it so wow i'm gonna be living my best life in 2020 not that i'm already not living it it's gonna be better when i enter 2020 like this <gasps> oh it's got boning i love a boned bodice let me go try this on and then we can end this video it is so beautiful, but it should be like this. That's um, quite a bit. Yeah, I'm hoping my tailor's gonna be able to adjust this. And I think I'll get sewn into this, I'll get the straps sewn in as I want them because I was putting the dress on and it actually just like literally one of the little poppers just popped off and I was like, this could definitely not happen on New Year's. I don't know what I would do if that happened. <laughs> definitely link the stick-on bra that I'm wearing because they are great for when you wear back those dresses. It's literally impossible for me to leave the house without a bra on. I feel like for New Year's, because I'm going out, I think, I still don't know yet, I will probably be wearing flats. I'm gonna go get a pair of the Rene Calvilla, Calvia, whatever they're called, um, spiral flats in like the silvery or like a muted kind of gold because I wanna be able to enjoy my night in flats and not be moaning about how my feet hurt the entire night because to be honest, I don't wear heels as much anymore so I'm not used to it. So I think I'm just gonna conclude this video here because my energy is depleted from being so over the top in the mornings. My caffeine, I'm gonna need another coffee before I can just kind of perk myself up again. I'm just kind of like, if you guys enjoyed it, anything you want to purchase, I will try find links to or similar links down below. Yeah, make sure you check out Lily Silk again. You can use my code FASHTV12 to get 12% off your entire order. 
hope you guys do check it out because it's really amazing i'm actually gonna film my next video in these pajamas because they're so comfy i don't want to take them off i will see you guys in my next video make sure you're subscribed hit that bell to be notified every time i upload thank you guys so much for watching